awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> Now, all you need do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But how? Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? <sighs> well, that was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but 
I would like you to have this. By way of thanks. A token though it is. I'm considering leaving. On a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh. I've started to recall. But dimly. My destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. This place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps, before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey, for which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Selians, descendants of the Eternal. Did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten.
Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. I told the all-hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Erd Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate 
good work from me. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. Art thou aware of the star that struck Limgrave? It left a vast crater, and through it lieth the eternal city of Nokron. Go there to find the city's hidden treasure. Ah, yes. E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts, can be found below. Like thee, they are in my service. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. So you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. You've defeated General Radan. Unlocking the stars. A grand reward. Justly procured by any measure. Again, I am E.G., the Carian royal family's dedicated blacksmith, and Lady Rani's war counselor. I welcome one of your caliber. A fellow champion in service of Lady Rani. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes. Yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. My apprentice, give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the Eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the Lands Between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? Thanks to you, Lady Rani's fate once again stirs, and the path to Nokron has opened. Descend underground 
where the fallen star struck Limgrave, and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron, so that Lady Rani may tread the dark path of the Empyrean. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. I'm quite certain that you'll take to it. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. I'm quite certain that you'll take to it. <laughs> <laughs> 